Hello guys, welcome to this video and today I'm going to share with you a free AI that you can actually use to write your blog post I know you are wondering why am I telling you to use AI to write blog posts when Google clearly said that they are against AI because of what? This particular AI I'm going to share with you, this AI was built by an expert so this AI isn't just for you to write a whole blog post but this AI is actually going to draft out a draft version of that particular blog post you want to write just by typing in your title or your targeted keyword and this AI has a lot of uh, possibility of giving high quality content that will run from Google. But don't be surprised if you don't know the topic you are writing about. Trust me, don't bother using AI. That's when most people actually get AI wrong. The mo main problem with people using AI is that they don't have any idea about the particular topic they are writing about. All they simply do is get AI to write the whole blog post for them and then they come back complaining that um, their AI content aren't doing well. It's simply because you copied, you wrote everything with AI. Sorry, that my fine. You wrote everything with AI, then you copy it and paste it right onto your website, and that is really wrong because all AIs are they have an invisible watermark per every content they generate for you. So one of the easiest ways to stay unique is by using is by proofreading this thing. Assuming here that I am, I have no idea about the health niche, I have no idea about sport niche, I have no idea about um, many other niches, crypto niche. Do I have a little idea about crypto? And I'm going to use AI to generate content on health niche. There is nothing I can do because I have no experience in that niche. I have nothing to. I have nothing about that niche. I'll just copy and paste that particular content on Google. And when Google try crawling website, then they come across this sort of content and they know that this is an AI generated content because there's no human experience in it. But take a look at um, if I should generate AI content on the topic affiliate marketing, blogging tips. I will be able to add more real life value to it. Why? Because I have experience in it. So if you want to use an AI, make sure you have experience in that particular topic you are writing the AI so you can add more value to it. Well, in this video, I'm going to share some useful tips with you whilst I'm generating the content on my laptop. With that I said, let's get started. I can use AI to generate some great content. So take a look at this particular blog post here. This is my blog post titled How to Make Money with Social Media. This blog post was actually written with AI. I wrote this blog post with AI, then I decided to format it and write it myself. That's why when you even read this blog post, you won't know if it was written with AI or human. Because you see the real life experience that has been added into it and the images I used to illustrate things more to make it even stand out. Take a look how the point, everything was generated on point by this AI. And you can also use AI like this smartly if only you watch this video to the very end. Take a look at on that blog post here. And if you notice, this blog post I actually converted it into a video again how to make money with social media in 2023 if you take a look at our video catalog we are going to see that this ai this our content also end up as a video as well take a look at the other one here which is um 11 blogging mistakes to avoid in 2023 oh i made a mistake on the thumbnail anyways you can take a look over here you see that this particular article also was generated with ai 100 percent ai generated so if i bet you all often say that uh, Google doesn't invest AI content, but here's an AI content. Let me search for it on Google. You can see it's indexed here on Google. Even when you read the article, it will be difficult for you to understand if this article was written with AI because the real human value that I added makes the whole difference among it. So now, why am I taking a let me take it straight into this blog post and show you how and show you how you can actually use AI to write some engaging blog posts. That your users won't even know if it was written with AI or was written by human. So with that already said, let's get in. Uh, from uh, Neil Patel, Uber suggests too, but it's free. So when you are using the Uber suggest uh, free version, you have access to this AI, though it's limited as well. You may ask me why is it that upon all uh, AIs, chat GPT and the rest, why did I choose this particular one from Neil Patel? Reason be that Neil Patel is also a content creator. He knows the importance of creating high quality content and he knows what he is doing and he is on point with whatever thing and whatever thing he is doing I know he's focused on a particular marketing industry. So we decided to said so if you come over to the uh, Uber suggest dashboard, currently I'm at the AI writer. So all you simply do is screw down to take a look at your left hand side, you are going to see where they say labs. Once you're on labs, just click on labs, the drop down and then you are going to see lab, keyword generator and AI writer. So after taking up the AI writer. Then this new page will open up to you where you have create new page and optimize existing page. So what you actually want to do is use the create new page. So this totally uh, depends on the particular topic you want to write about. 
So if what you want to write about is a listicle article, then uh, using the listicle article generator will be the best option. And you can see here, I have one document, which is the ultimate guide to affiliate marketing that I already generated here. So now assume, I'm assuming you already have a topic in mind that you want to write about. If you don't have, you can go and watch our keyword research playlist or our SEO playlist to get some ideas. So in this video, I'm actually going to use a listicle article generator because what I'm trying to, the content I'm writing on is about a listing of items. So with that already said, let me just click on start. So once you click on start, it's going to bring you to this particular page where you have to put in your keyword, um, your title and your rest. So I actually save my titles in Notion. So you can save your title anywhere. I actually use Notion to schedule my content classy. Nine useful tools for making money with affiliate marketing. So I'm just, I'm just going to paste in, paste it in here. Just going to paste. Then I'll click on generate. I told this AI is actually smart. When you talk about smart, this AI is one of the smartest AIs I've ever come across. Even with the wrong title I used, it was still able to get the exact term I was actually referring to. So you take a look at my title, nine useful tools for make money with affiliate marketing. But this AI actually understand what I was talking because it made use of the keyword which is make money with affiliate marketing. So I'm just going to break here down. So after the AI generated this content for you, here is this when the real works begin. So the real work isn't just generating the content or copying and pasting it on your website. Not at all. You need to do some editing. So for that editing, I'm going to take you straight into Notion and show you some tips on how you can get that editing done. So what I simply do over here is with, with the content database I created, I actually link both my content and the titles together so that whenever I want to update, I just come over here and update them, then re-upload them to my WordPress. So now let me send it to full screen open so i have to take me to a different place so i'm going to paste in this content i actually like like it when my titles and the content are linked together so i'm just going to accept full screen so now the next thing is for you to paste this content that you've copied in here so i'm just going to use ctrl v so now that i've pasted the content so now we are done with the first phase which is actually generating this content using um the ai so now the next thing we actually need here is simply um the next thing we need here is the meta description of this particular article uh what the ai actually did i didn't that a mistake i actually noticed with this ai so the first one here is a website creation so you see some of the headlines to generate may not really be in line so i'm referring to tools that you need to to be successful with affiliate marketing and it's telling me website creation instead of saying uh, one creating a website so a website is a necessary tool you ask me if website is a tool website is actually a tool used in affiliate marketing then the next one here is traffic which is this one is 100 percent invalid it's not related to this particular topic at all so this is where google actually track a lot of content creators done so what does traffic have to do with two because traffic are people coming to your website so what does the tool has to do with tra traffic so this way you need to uh, go through your content properly before copying and pasting it into your WordPress dashboard. I always advise whenever it's AI to generate content, one of the key things you should do first is to proofread it and correct every mistake made by these AIs. So you can see here is the paid advertising, which I will change later. Then the next one here, email marketing. So email marketing, I'm actually going to leave it because I will instead of email marketing, I'll say email marketing services, such as get response, active campaign that I always recommend. Affiliate recruiting platform. So you see, there are a lot of mistakes that this AI has actually made. That's why you need to take your time and proofread every content reading, written with AI. So now assuming you are done proofreading everything and you've made all the necessary uh, creations. So how then do you get uh, Google to know that these articles were humanly written? Okay, so this is it. So I'm going to use this article, uh, from what I'm saying, this article will be a perfect example for that because it's going to actually take me time to proofread this article then explain it properly. So I'm going to use another article that I've not yet published as well. Go over here. This is one I actually want to use because this one, everything was accurate. Yeah, over here, the article was 100% accurate for the content is generated. So now here, assuming here, I also generated uh, seven tips 
for blogging success you should know so this will be coming as a video soon so here you can see it said know your targeted audience so now when you come over here now what i actually do to make my articles different from what ai actually generates is that i take every single point or subheading generated by this ai and turn it to a total different subheading in this particular blog post so here it says know your targeted audience so now after that what i do is i'll take this then i will create uh five tips on how you can identify your targeted audience i'll put it under this particular heading i'll go to the next one who says um utilize seo tactics then under here i'll create a new subheading saying how to utilize seo tactics to achieve a successful blogging career then you see this is simply how it will be you simply take this key point within this article and use them as a separate heading to create something uh far better than the original generated by the ai but in some cases if you are the kind of person who have a lot of time to go through this article you can simply delete off everything written by this ai just take the point generated by this ai and write your own different article, uh, version of those points so hello guys that is simply all on how you can use ai to regenerate your content remember always feel free to make uh, uh, to make creations and don't forget to add more human value so another thing you can do is using virtual elements such as videos um illustrations and images to add more life to the article because ai doesn't generate that ai simply generate the content for you and the rest editing and, and the proofreading making of necessary creations adding human experience which is very key all that is left to you so in the comment section i'm actually going to know who and who watch this video to this particular stage because at this last stage this is where i make i made mention of like most kids whenever you are writing a blog post with an ai simply adding human experience which ai's actually lack so know that always use your human experience to make ai superb so that is it about this video thank you for watching and if you have any question let me know that in the comment section as well so have a nice day bye